Good afternoon, good morning, good evening all. Welcome to Auckland, New Zealand from the Black Bull Markets trading floor. Keen to do a very quick market update. A lot has happened over the last 24 hours, especially with US earnings, further US sanctions, political tensions around the world, and also um, central bank meetings from yesterday's FOMC, uh, as well as today's uh, widely expected uh, change uh, from the Bank of England. So let's firstly uh, turn your attention over to the dollar Turkish lira chart where we're seeing a historical low in the Turkish lira spurred on by US sanctions um, more recently. And what, what we've seen here uh, from the back of that is a break of the $5 mark, which has not happened ever. So um, just pulling on a bit more of a uh, historical chart here so we can you can actually see the extent of this move um, you're seeing the markets now pretty bullish um, well, very bullish rising over whew, 1270 points in the last four hours so it's a very monumental move in the market uh, one to definitely keep your eye on if you're if you're a fan of these uh, these big moves on the exotics so again, I mean, uh, it is actually off the back of uh, government e uh, sanctions following political tensions between US uh, uh, and Turkey um, with, with the view of placing economic sanctions as well onto the country. So that's really damaging the, uh, uh, an economy that's already facing a bit of an economic crisis with their currency being uh, devalued uh, as per respectable for that time frame uh, as per you know a, a few years ago um so you know this this could really set the stage for potentially more weakening in the turkish lira so keep your eyes on that pair it's one that you know a lot of people are looking at today um moving on from that yesterday we continue to see a bit of a fall yesterday across global stocks um uh, as that was pretty much led by the asian markets in China, here's a chart of the Australian 200 index, where there was a bit of a rebound today, but it's been pretty bearish recently, and that's really due to this continued move to the downside in Chinese stocks. Uh, however, saying that, Apple really helped to support um, the, the US, US stocks uh, ever so slightly. Let's try and find a, a Dow Jones chart. Here you go. So it was pretty, mir pretty much mirrored across the globe but you did have some winners there remarkably apple off the back of their their positive earnings um moving on the federal reserve as expected kept interest rates held uh it had really limited impact on the dollar um the committee's language around future economic outlook suggested that it upgraded its view on the economy and continues to believe that the labor markets are pretty strong so data is supporting the future rate hikes that they are planning and as well as this dollar strength that we're seeing recently we're also having a look at the bank of england today uh, let's bring up the pound chart for you it's pretty key the meetings at 12 p.m london time um research expecting uh, an, a policy hike by 25 basis points to 0.75 percent call for a possible eight to one vote which is a large majority of the monetary policy committee everyone in the markets looking at this today biggest event until nfp on friday um w never have we seen such a widely expected rate hike and um arguably kind of skewed more so with this recent uh, uh move to the downside potentially uh, markets are looking at a, a, a by the fact uh opportunity here either way you know the the this the, the markets are also still split onto a future rate hike path so hopefully we get a bit more of a uh, a common understanding as to what the future rate hike path potentially could be uh following plans from the european zo uh, eurozone european central bank of course and the federal reserve so let's have a look at some technical levels here seeing 130 ahead of 12945 as being the potential support areas um and then 
if you if this move further continues to the downside, we've got uh, oh, around the 127.75 level. That's a pretty key support, and that's the low from August 2017, so almost a year ago now. Um, this bearish sentiment, if it does continue, could see the markets head lower into that direction. Yeah. However, if we do get a positive result, uh, better than markets expecting, um, especially in terms of some forward guidance levels, then we could see resistance play in around the 132 level here, 132.20. Ahead of that, 134.50 is looking pretty interesting up here. So either way, keep an eye on that rate decision. That's going to be pretty um, monumental in terms of which way the direction falls moving forward for potentially the rest of August heading into September. That's all from me here. I uh, wish you all the best of luck with your trading. And for more great videos like this, please subscribe below. And for any questions, please also do let us know. All the best.